seventh song on the record, Year of the Snake. That's a funny story because I had a good friend of mine who contributed on this one, Dave Vincent, David Vincent. He's mostly known from his works for Morbid Angel and we both team up, we join forces to sing a song that is just Americana. And that is cool. I love it. I love it. And um, the idea was basically like two rebels from two sides of the globe with kind of similar, non-compromising attitudes and just strong characters, charismatic, just coming out and, 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 uh, and, and just, you know, standing for what we believe. Like we just call each other and like try to explain things, you know, via WhatsApps, you know, like FaceTime. And that's why it took fucking forever, but we nailed it. And I'm super proud of it. Enjoy Year of the Snake. I've already told you that I'm a huge uh, Danzig fan, right? And I'm a huge Misfits with Danzig fan. But it doesn't change the fact that I'm a huge Misfits with Michael Graves fan. So that's how I found uh, about Michael Graves. I reached out to Michael and I just straight up, you know, ask him, Michael, would you lend your beautiful voice on my song? It's called Blues and Cocaine. You are free to write your own lyrics. And he did, and he was super fast, super easy to work with. And um, yeah, the funny fact about Blues and Cocaine is that that song we recorded during a uh, first Me and That Man album session. So it was what, five years ago? So I gotta put it aside and decided, you know, for the song to just, you know, grow, grow. I mean, that's what I do. Sometimes I just write tracks, write ideas, and just put them aside, you know, and like, it's all, it's all about timing. It doesn't mean that the song or the idea is bad. It means that uh, it's a wrong timing. So now the time of Blues and Cocaine was up and um, I'm really happy that uh, we, yeah, if, if the song will finally see the light of the day and I really hope that you're gonna dig it. I'm here to talk about uh, collaboration with my good friend from Lamb of God, Randy Blight. I remember when Sasha, because uh, that song is a Sasha song and he would send me the, the track, finished demo with vocals and everything. Then I would just rewrite the lyrics. So um, it was Sasha's music. We would write, co-write co the lyrics. And then I reached out to Randy because I really wanted to have this southern touch uh, and Randy's got that. I wasn't really aware, I mean, I knew Randy being a, a, a screamer and I guess the world knows Randy as a screamer, as mostly the world knows me as a screamer. I'm not really a singer, I'm a screamer. So the question was like, I mean, will he be able to perform that kind of music? I mean, it's, it's not metal, it's, it's acoustic and it's, it's just, you know, you gotta take it easy. Randy came back to me and said, oh well, sorry Nurgle, I mean the lyrics that you sent don't really resonate with me. So I just, I drew something fast here, you know. And he, he would tell me that he would just, he went somewhere and there was like a, some wasteland and he kind of felt like, holy shit, and I was so old, I, I saw all the needles in the grass, you know, and apparently there was some, you know, um, like a junkie spot or whatever. And he wrote the lyrics and then he sang it and sent back and we were all blown away by the lyrics and his performance. Also another cool fact about the title of the song, because it's a, it's a professional term that photographers know. If you're a professional photographer, you know what black halide Echoes is. I didn't know that, so thank you, Randy, for, for, for that tip. <laughs> Cheers. Carving on a spoon, no black 
like an era. 